we will now create our header. We see that our header has a category created as a batch, then a blog post title, an author name, the date where the blog post has been posted, the number of likes and comments, and then some tags created as badges. Let's see how we create this. After our nav element, we create an article element. Since this is where our article starts, then we create a header element since we are creating the header for our article. First, we will create the category batch as a link. So we create an anchor tag with the class batch and batch primary to select the primary color. Then we give it the text category. Now we'll create the blog post title in an H1 heading element and give it a title. Then we'll create the author name in an empty div tag we add an anchor tag and then the author name. Now we'll create another div tag and inside this we'll create the posted time. So we'll add the text posted on and then we'll add the time element with the date time attribute where we have to format the date and time in a specific way. So this means the 12th of March at the time 10.24 a.m. And we'll write it in this way for the reader. And close the time element again. You can write it in whichever way you want as the text for the reader, but for the semantics and HTML um, accessibility, we need to use this time element with the date time attribute. Now we'll create the number of likes and comments inside the div tag. Then we'll create our first batch in the span element using the classes batch and batch primary to give this the primary color which is gray. And we'll give it the text 13 likes. Then we'll create one more similar batch, a span tag with the classes batch and batch secondary and the text three comments. I'll just correct this class here. Oh wait, this class here. So what we want is the batch primary for these two. So they give the primary blue color. Now we'll create our list of tags. This will be anchor text turned into badges using the classes batch and now we will use the batch secondary to give this a great color and then we'll add some text and we'll just duplicate this a few times and just change some of these text here to make it look like our final page. All right, let's have a look in the browser. We now see that we have our category as a batch and then the title and author name as a link, then the number of likes and comments, and then we have our tags here as badges.